Isaiah Hunts here, back with another video. I want to do a little vlog type of thing. So today, Friday, January 26, 2018, is my 23rd birthday. Super stoked, freaking excited, young Michael Jordan. I wanted to do just a little catch up, update, do some shout outs. I want to talk about the giveaway. I want to add some things. Just talk about some random stuff that I've gotten some comments and questions about. Yeah, different things like that. If there's anything you want to ask me about, uh, doesn't matter about what, anything, just leave a comment down below or uh, my email is in the description also. You can email me anytime if you want to talk about whatever. Yeah, I love talking to you guys and I definitely want to connect with you guys more often. I have some shout outs. I want to talk about some new things I've gotten, not really toys. Like, I got a new laptop and I like souped it up with stickers and stuff. Want to show you guys that. Um, added some things to the giveaway that I think you guys will really like. Moved around my Breath of the Wild Link Nendoroid, so I'll probably show you guys that, talk about it a little more. There's just a couple new stuff that I got. I just want to update you guys. I like talking to you guys, and yeah, let's um, let's just dive right into this vlog. So the first thing I want to talk about is some shoutouts. Um, there's been a lot of people that have been commenting on my videos and commenting on my Instagram posts and stuff like that, and I just think they deserve a little bit, a little shout out. Make like. Let them know that I'm, I noticed them and stuff like that. I want to shout out all the toy soldiers, first and foremost. They make great videos. They're all linked below in the description. Art Miranda, POV Hunter, 2 Vertical, Trapio, Tattooed Toy Hunter, and Culture Rob and the Coolios. Make sure you check them all out. Let them know Isaiah Hunt sent you. Yeah, let's keep building the fams, you know what I mean? I want to spread the love. You guys are amazing and... I think you should really check out their channels. Some other shout outs I want to give is to Funko and Figs. Awesome, awesome person. They always comment on my Instagram posts and my YouTube videos and all that stuff and they they're just start like they just started up their channel so make sure you check them out. Sorry, I'm accidentally oop. Rock, rock stope. Uh, my other, my other like beer fiend or whatever. Check out his channel for sure. Awesome. There's Superman Abel, Fig Life Miami. Fig Life Miami. They always show love. They're awesome peeps. I love those guys. I wish someday I could hunt with them because they're just freaking hilarious. I love them. Awesome. P2 Vision, Toy Hunter, Art Gutierrez is a really good toy hunter also. And yeah, I. Those are just some people that have stood out recently. I think deserve a little bit extra love, you know what I mean? So definitely check out all their channels, all their Instagrams, whatever. So right now I think I'm just gonna show you guys some of the new things I've gotten that's not really toys per se, but like affects the channel and whatnot and you know what I mean? It's something new that has happened to me that I wanna share with you guys. I just got this laptop. I wasn't expecting to talk about this, but <clears throat> um, early December my grandpa passed away. This past weekend when I was in California, it was his um, his funeral. Uh, he was buried at Miramar National Cemetery, I think it's officially called. It's like brand new. Um, it's off the Miramar Air Force Base and yeah. It's pretty cool because, um, like, growing up, he would, like, take us to, like, air shows and stuff like that. Blue Angels. This was the laptop that he, he had. And it pretty crazy because, like, I needed one. And, yeah, I don't know. It, uh, I'm very proud to have this. I didn't mean to make it, like... I don't know, like depressing or anything like that, but I want to be like transparent with you guys. But it's a Toshiba. I like sticker slapped it already. 
silenced hippie of course this is where i get my vape batteries from snowball hawkins middle school stranger things sticker dhd accessories this is a uh <clears throat> it's like rick and morty back to the future you got uh deadpool recoil rebel sticker i love this rebel sticker it's like a leia rebel sticker it's like the skeletons of rick and morty yeah show me what you got band sticker bitch and eleven and then this is just some tattoo sticker that i got yeah oh and then in here cover my webcam so i wanted to do it a different way so i did it like that and then i have stranger things sticker and then another van sticker my rick and morty mugshot pretty sick it's awesome computer it's um touch screen you know what i mean like <laughs> she said that but yeah touch screen pretty crazy like crazy this thing has a terabyte st one terabyte storage it runs so freaking fast on my old laptop it would take for those 30 minute hunts it would take probably 19 hours to just export it from editing 19 hours you know how long that is like there was no way I, like now I have the ability to post my videos the same day as editing them like which is, blows my freaking mind even short ones would take like 10 hours like even like the five minute mail times would take five hours at least like what it's it was ridiculous and this one, it'll do those 30 minute videos in about two hours. And it, it's crazy. I've had that, I, I've had that laptop for like 10 years. And that, what's amazing is that was a laptop that my grandpa that passed away inherited to me 10 years ago. I don't know, it was only fitting that like, I would get his newer one, you know what I mean? So. Yeah, it's it's pretty amazing. I love it. Tell me what kind of stickers I should put in the empty space. I kind of really like how it is. There's a lot of Rick and Morty. There's a lot of Stranger Things. There's some vapey ones. I want like more YouTube ones, like the Silence Tippy. I want it more YouTube type stickers. Yeah, let me know. I freaking love st sticker slapping. I should show you guys my old laptop. This is the old laptop. It's a, a Dell. There's like layers and layers of stickers. Uh, Illust one, it's under there, you can see it. There's a diamond sticker, undefeated. There's a Tumblr sticker under there. Tumblr, who still uses Tumblr? Uh, Kilo, DHD accessories, Major League Vapors. Sweet 160 is a store in Vegas. It has like, the silhouette of Las Vegas in it. It's pretty cool. Van Surf, Primal Image, there's a like a train vape it's like a vaping company with like a train. I don't know. They're just random stickers. Pedo Bear peeking through. This is an obey sticker. Josh Heinrichs. If you haven't heard his music, listen to it. Just a weed leaf on a skateboard, Mickey Mouse, Beam, uh Casey Neistat's company or whatever. Get classy. There's another Obey sticker, the middle. Um, E46 Fanatics, Beth. Pretty awesome. Purple Urkel, Culture of Clouds, awesome. Fat Lace. <clears throat> and here's the inside. You got Jerry, Bob Marley, more vans. <clears throat> I don't know, I love sticker slapping and like, like, you know what I mean? That's... When me and Olivia first dated, I only had like that much filled. <clears throat> and it was like one layer. Now, the whole thing is filled and it's like three layers. Like, just like shows our relationship. Keep all of my 
past footage, my past edited hunts, the final videos, everything. There's like nothing on this new laptop still. This is where I keep everything on. It's a Seagate, two terabyte, I believe. Pretty sure, yeah, two terabyte. And yeah, I have like half a terabyte filled so far. So see how long that lasts. And I got these from a buddy of mine for super cheap. They're the Beats Pros. Kinda older, but still freaking sick. They like turn like this. Pretty dope. Instead of moving, like, when you have them on, instead of having to like go like this or go like this, go like that. And it's still like, I don't know, it's trippy, but dope. <laughs> I like it a lot. But yeah, that's all like the new things that I've gotten for the channel and whatnot. This light right here, it's like a, this is pretty, this is the only light that I use. And yeah, it's like the secrets. And this camera actually, it's a new camera. It is a Sony RX100 4. Shoots in 4K. Uh, it has a flip up screen, so I'm looking at myself right now. It's just like a point and shoot, it's not a DLSR or DSLR, but I like it a lot. You know what I mean? Like, autofocus is awesome. Other camera that I was using, the, D the DSLR, didn't have autofocus, so I was always like, I had it in manual focus and I would just adjust it every single time. So, this is sick. You know what I'm saying? Like, Dope. One other th other thing that I want to mention is <clears throat> the jump jump cuts, jump cuts, jump cuts. The jump cuts. I don't know. I uh, I really like that like type of editing. I don't know. Like, what do you guys want to see? I want to know what you guys want to see. I'm trying to. We gotta build this fam. You know what I mean? And get them views, everything. Share these videos. I love talking to you guys, so give me your feedback, seriously, I want to know, and I'll take them to heart and actually try to do the things that you guys want to see, so yeah, comment down below. There's one other thing that I got, these LED strips. I have some footage of me when I was unboxing them and showing them, so let's go watch that. What's up guys, so I got this off Amazon, here's the box. I got it on Amazon because um, I found a really good deal on them. It was like 11 bucks for this kit. And these are like LED strips or whatever. So what you do is it comes with a switch and it comes with a dimmer and it clicks into off as well these connector pieces so you can connect these and then there's corded connector pieces which I think I'm going to use these are the ones I'm going to use so I can separate them let me show you guys it all set up so you plug this into an outlet and then you'll plug the dimmer into what's in the outlet and then the dimmer goes straight into one of these it's off clicked on And it just gets brighter. It's like a a warm. It doesn't look like you know like super bright LED lights. Then you can use these connectors and so on. And look at that. And they go equally the wired connector so that I can separate them. I believe they're 20 inch wires. See? And now, I can have this one right here, I can have this one somewhere else. Pretty cool. I find a good spot for them and actually like how it looks. You know what I mean? Because there's... Sorry, my bed's all messed up. See, there's my collection and I'm not sure how I want to do it. I don't know, I just got them because it was a really good deal. But I definitely want to incorporate them 
somewhere. I think. I don't know. Maybe I was debating like um, clearing out that top shelf and maybe like using them in there. But I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I just wanted to show you guys this product and um, I don't know. Hopefully, I find a way I can use this well it also came with like mounts so you can mount it into the wall if you want to and also just like these little clips i'm not really sure how you'd use these clips oh maybe to keep the wire okay and then it came with just like mounting tape and i think that's what i'm gonna use so yeah that's those lights that i ordered um pretty cheap they're about 11 bucks on amazon with a code $30 regular. Not sure exactly what I want to do with them, but definitely a cool pickup. But now I'm going to show you guys my Breath of the Wild Nendoroid. There he is. Looking nice. Up in the air. With his arrow. Switch back there. My case for it. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. I think it looks sick. Little horse is sitting. <laughs> Dope. I don't know, that was a lot of talking. Feeling a little thirsty. Let's go drink some beer. So, I have my Game of Thrones. I don't know if you can even see that. My Game of Thrones tulip style Omi Gang glass. This is the beer that we have today. Lilikoi Capolo. Can you hear my cat? Avery Brewing Company in Boulder, Colorado. It says Belgian style white ale brewed with spices and passion fruit added. It's a 5.4. It says tropical and tart. It was with the sours. If you haven't tried a sour beer, you should really try them. I was skeptical at first, but man, sour beers, I really like them. I don't know, I have this one raspberry sour that you've probably seen on this channel, Crush. Awesome beer, it doesn't even taste like beer. Try a sour beer if you have it. And it's just in a can. Let's pour it in. Oh. A hella spilled. Thought it was going over. Nice thick two finger head. It's dripping. It kind of looks like a. It's like the color of Blue Moon, kind of. All over the floor. Let's give it a try. There it is. And then it says Omi Gang. It's like in gold. Cheers, fam. Oh. Mm. So good. I got this at my the, my local liquor store. It's literally like two minutes away. Great beer selection, and they're all refrigerated. I love that. It's the only thing that I don't like about Total Wine. Um, I think it's called Liquor World over there, but Total Wine, all their beers are just like on a shelf. I like it refrigerated like that. You can drink it right instantly, you know what I mean? This is really good. The flavor doesn't really linger in your mouth. It's really smooth. Um, Definitely sessionable. I could drink a couple of these, you know what I mean? But, wow, that's actually really good. I taste the passion fruit a little bit. I really get, like, the spices, though. Like, it's kind of weird, but... Still tart. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> oh. Excuse me. Yeah, that's really good. I have this... Apricot vape, drip fiends, apricot and cream, 
What's crazy about apricot is uh, that was like one of the first flavors that I like vaped that I really liked. This one is really good. This is my, um, I don't know, for anyone vape who vapes, this is a Kennedy Ruby mod. The atomizer and the mod are connected. It is one copper with a money tip from DHD accessories. There's like little money pieces cut up and in there. And I think it goes well with the copper. It's like copper pennies, you know what I mean? Mm. So good. Such a good juice. If you vape and you're into like, I don't know, it's weird, but the flavor like lingers on your tongue and I like, I really enjoy that. It like, after you exhale, it lingers. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. Sorry, that was gross. That's pretty good. It like takes away the spices in the beer and it washes away the lingering taste of the juice. It doesn't like the logo. Oh, a little bit. So good though. I'm like halfway through this already. Let's do another one. Pretty good. I've been thinking about incorporating like that like artistic type of footage in my hunts but I don't know I need to find good like royalty free music and stuff like that. Think of how it is and the footage that I want to include with it. I don't know there's I want to do other stuff with my hunts to make them more entertaining like I really like um, Fig Life Miami how they uh, you know what I mean? They have those like artistic kind of shots with like the same music that's in every video and I don't know, I really like that. It's like edited and nice, you know what I mean? I want to get a stabilizer, but I don't think I want to like walk around a store with a stabilizer on my phone. I don't know, I, I might just because I have it and F it, you know what I mean? Like I really don't care what other people think and like I'll record whatever, but... I think walking around with this big ass thing might be a little bit too much. Oh, the juice is very carbonated or um, effervescent. That's honestly a joke from Groom Green. Uh, one of the vape YouTubers that I watch. I don't know, like those like jump cup type, type things. It's very Rip Trippers and Groom Green like. And I really, I, I enjoy that. You know what I mean? I don't know, just like using like tripod footage. It being the same, but... Different spots. Different spots. You know what I mean? Oh. I think that's gonna wrap up this beer section of this little vlog type video. Now I want to go over an update of the giveaway. Freaking animals. The Rocco Chase is still in it. Still part of the giveaway. I'm going to include this little Rick and Morty Plumbus. We have these two comics. They're like previews. There's this dead shot. And we have this Wolverine number one. We have this Wolverine Orange Origins number one. Origin. Or Origin. Why did that sound so weird? Deadpool vs. Punisher. This Walking Dead cover. Or this comic actually, but love that cover. And then this right here. Lenticular cover. 
I want to add these comics to it. The Batman Lost metallic cover. Dark Days The Forge metallic cover. And this one right here is a freaking awesome piece. The Glow in the Dark Dead Man cover. This is, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but it is the Glow in the Dark one. And I'm going to include another pop, the Toys R Us Crash Bandicoot in the jetpack. This pop is going to go in the giveaway. I'm thinking we might do two winners and like stack of comics and a pop, stack of comics and a pop, you know what I mean? I have some mystery minis and stuff that I want to add, but yeah, going to add this to the giveaway. I think that's going to conclude this Isaiah Hunt's update birthday vlog. It's my 23rd birthday, freaking stoked about it, awesome, probably gonna go to dinner with my fam tonight. Thank you guys so much for all the comments, all the love, subscribing, liking the videos, you guys are the best. Please subscribe if you're not already. We need to get to 500 and we're close, we need like 13 more, so let's get it. Go to the 500 subscriber giveaway, watch the video to find out how to enter into the giveaway. And let's get it. We have about 55 entries right now, so that's why I kind of wanted to do two winners. So yeah, Isaiah Hunts on the Prowl. Peace, fam. Uh, if you have anything that you want to ask me or anything at all, comment, comment, leave a comment 